Lehigh is the defending Patriot League champion in men's basketball. And with the reigning League Player of the Year in CJ McCollum, there were no doubts that the Mountain Hawks would be back in the hunt for a championship again in March. But within a fraction of a second, Lehigh's season changed. But don't tell that to the Mountain Hawks. As well as anyone in the conference, and there's the flush off the beautiful feed to Holden Greiner. Pick and pop from the wing. 4-3. Now Griner coming, circling around, shot up and good. Get weak side help. Ignite eyes up at three. Bring him up. He's got a chance to let it fly for the tie. No! Lehigh does it again. The Mountain Hawks come into Lewisburg and for the third consecutive trip to the Circuit Pavilion. Though this time without CJ McCollum, Lehigh celebrates victory. At 4-0 and coming off a big win at Bucknell on Wednesday, the Mountain Hawks are soaring and proving to the league that they are more than just C.J. McCollum. This is a team with personnel that I believe a great deal in. They're young men that have individual talent. Collectively, they're very strong and complement each other well. I think there's been tremendous resiliency and a sense of understanding to value every single possession. And because of that, they've really come together to make defensive stops. They're still trusting their talent on offense, which is really important. But I've been really pleased with the way that we've been able to start the, the process of forming a new identity with the current healthy players and how that's ultimately built a great deal of confidence. I think at this stage, our players should have a great deal of belief in themselves and each other that we can continue to follow this blueprint towards success. That formula was followed on Wednesday as Lehigh built an early double-digit lead and battled back from a deficit in the second half to win their third straight game at Soika Pavilion in Lewisburg. Our team has faced a little bit of adversity this year. Fortunately, they've really come together and been very unified and demonstrated a great resiliency in pressure situations. We've had a team that has ultimately really put a value on playing hard and playing together. And even when things aren't going tremendously well, they still have enough fight in them to continue to stay the course and work in those type of environments and situations. Mackie McKnight has played a key role in Lehigh's success, averaging 12 points per game and 4.9 assists per game. He also has been a role model for the rest of the team. I think Mackie's influence on our team has been very apparent. Here's a young man who has raised his level of play his ability to create off the dribble, he's knocking down shots. But one of the key characteristics that I see with him is a team that's taking on his feisty type of personality, which is really nice to see as well. Also raising his level of play is senior forward Holden Greiner, who's averaging 12.5 points per game and 6.7 rebounds per game, both ranking in the top 10 in the league. I couldn't be more pleased with Holden's evolution as a player, coming in as someone who strictly looked to score, and had natural talent to someone who's really brought, providing a great deal of energy for our team in multiple facets of the game. That has been so instrumental in establishing himself as a presence for us, even if his shot isn't falling. But now, with the added uh, responsibility of scoring, he's a di very difficult matchup. He can score from the inside, he can shoot from the perimeter, he can make plays off the dribble, and he's someone that creates a great deal of offense for us. Gabe Knudsen, who was averaging 13.6 points per game during the season, has had a bit of a slow start to league play, scoring-wise. But he's been strong in other areas and coming up with key plays in every game, like he did late against Bucknell, driving past Mike Miscala for the reverse lay-in. Well, Gabe's a good player. He hasn't necessarily hit his stride as of yet. We're talking about a player who was second-team all-league last year and I think that he'll rise to that level of play. However, he has come through in some pressure situations, even against Bucknell, making that baseline drive for a very important finish, getting a tip-out rebound uh, to give us an extra possession towards the end of the game to set up a free throw situation for us. All those things come with his experiences, with his maturity, and, and certainly a great deal of uh, leadership that he can provide for our team. Defensively, Lehigh's been one of the better teams in the league, limiting good looks and forcing turnovers. Coach Reed attributes a lot of that success to the play of B.J. Bailey. B.J. has provided a defensive presence for us, an energy, uh, a sense of athleticism out there that provides deflections and a lot of purpose for what we're trying to do on the defensive end of the floor. In recent games, I've seen him become more and more and more aggressive, which has only continued to come about through his raised level of confidence and just being out there playing a little bit more because he was sidelined for quite a while with an injury. 
Lehigh has also taken care of the ball on offense, getting the most out of its possessions. The Mountain Hawks lead the league in turnover margin with a plus 3.28. One of the new faces making this possible is Corey Schaefer, who as a freshman has made some key contributions, including some highlight reel assists. For your program, recruiting is first. With the numbers and the flair behind the back, plus one! What a play, and how about Gabe Knudsen running behind it, almost as if he knew it was coming. Well, Corey took it upon himself to make a little bit of a fancy play, not necessarily what his, his dad, uh, a college coach, would probably like, but uh, Corey's got good vision. He had the ability to make the play, to finish, to provide a finish opportunity for Gabe Knutson, which was a pretty nifty play and a great pass, and it's good to see him out in transition making the right type of decision. Corey is such a reliable player for us. He's always in the right spot, pretty much always doing the right thing. From a coach's standpoint, that's a player that you like to have out there on the floor because there's a great deal of trust already built in with him. I think he is somebody that understands the game, puts himself in spots to help his team, and that's something that we really value and appreciate. Lehigh will return to the court on Sunday with a noon tip-off against rival Lafayette. The game can be seen on CBS Sports Network.